Hey, Joe Gilder here. This question was inspired by Johnny, who said, Is there a way to make the EQ or any other plug-in windows smaller? We're going to talk about that. Initially, the answer is no. Most plug-in windows in Studio One are a set dimension, and resizing them doesn't work. And that's true for most plugins in general. So when when is this actually a problem? What I found, and I've seen this come up a lot of times, which warranted making this video, when you use a screen resolution that's pretty small, meaning you're making you're blowing up the windows to make them bigger because maybe it's hard for you to see them. Sometimes what happens is the window is too big for the plugin that you have. So the, the the plugin window is too big for the monitor that you're using rather. So for example, here it is in Studio One, I've used a really big resolution and now my fat channel plugin, I can't even reach the top of the window. So I can't move this plugin, I can't do anything it's out of reach this was this would happen for example if i was using this on a big monitor in my studio and i went to open it on a tiny laptop and the resolution wasn't right now i can't reach it so what options do we have the first option is to just make your resolution a little bit bigger so like on the mac when i come in here to displays an option would be to just pick a bigger resolution than the one I'm using right now. So this is just a very small resolution. I can see things really well, um, but I need to just bump it down to something a little bit smaller. Maybe not the, this one up here, that'll make everything tiny, but something in between to where I can see all of my windows. The other solution, and this is, this is kind of a hack, but it's pretty interesting. I first learned this from Gregor. Come up to Studio One menu and find the keyboard shortcuts window. It looks like this, and it just <laughs> barely fits on the screen. And search for, I think it's the word position. Position. Yes. Here's a command that you need to know. It's called Reset Window Positions. And I've mapped this to my return key, um, which surprisingly is not mapped to anything else in my session. So I set, make this with the return key, boom, good to go. Now what this does... When I'm in a session, and if the window is somewhere where I can't grab it, which happens when changing resolutions, it happens when using a secondary monitor, and when it pops over to that monitor, sometimes, you know how computers can be weird, did you know that? Uh, sometimes it'll pop that window in a position where I can't actually reach the top of the window to move it, and I'm thinking, I'm stuck forever, I, I'm never going to get this window back. I had this happen recently, I was using a virtual monitor set up to try to test some things for a live stream, but the windows kept popping up on the wrong screen. This was a way to get them to come back to the screen I'm on and to be able to use them. So check out what happens. I can't reach the top of this fat channel window, but when I press return, it snaps it back to where I can get to it. So now I can reach it and I can at least move it around. Now, as you can see, we still can't see the whole plugin. With Fat Channel, that's not a huge problem because we can click this button here, which just allows us to see one section of the plugin at a time. So this may be a usable resolution for us with that change. However, you switch to something like Pro EQ, and as you can see, even with the window all the way up, I can't quite reach all the sections down here. So that would be a situation where I'm at a resolution that's just too small. I can't fit everything on it. So if I go to my display preferences and change it to something a little bit more reasonable, uh, even this one should work better. Now I can at least fit the EQ. It just barely fits. And this is about the biggest window you're going to find. So that's probably, a, that's just the compromise you're going to have to make to be able to fit all the windows there. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, the level meter plugin is one of the handful, I'm not sure how many other plugins, but the level meter is one that you can actually um, adjust the size of the plugin to your liking. So you can have it go horizontal or vertical depending on how you adjust it. So I've gone through phases where when I'm mixing, I'll set this to something like um, K20, and then I'll have it set up vertical, and I'll put it off like to the right-hand side of my mix session, just to kind of be a nice little meter there in the window. This one will resize, but most plugins, are there, the buttons and the layout and the graphics and everything really means you have to keep it at the certain size that it is, which means you're going to have to make some compromises and make your computer screen a little bit bigger to accommodate for that bigger window. So if you're having those issues, that's what's happening. It's also the same issue if you are looking at like one of my videos, one of Gregor's videos, and you're saying, hey, the that button that you clicked on isn't there. Some of it is when the window gets too small, 
Studio One knows it can't show everything, so it removes some of the buttons to just accommodate the smaller size. So that may be another reason why maybe you're not seeing some of the buttons on the screen that we have. Go to a slightly bigger resolution. You should be able to see more and hopefully still read everything and be able to get around just fine. All right, thanks for watching. See you.